professor, honorable principal, and the faculties whom I just kind of by chance met in Pondicherry just in first week of February. And just within few minutes, I was asked that, would you be please coming here and give this talk to the girls who will be graduating? Without thinking any kind of hesitation, I just said yes. She called and fixed the date. The date was already known and I said I will come. I actually forgot there are a lot of things which I have committed and there is one All India Examination for Scholarship in Bioinformatics which I conduct from JNU. I actually completely forgot those things. Why? The reason is very well understood by the young girls who are sitting all over there. Whatever I have been and whatever I am, it is just because of those teachers who are teaching on the town and all those teachers who teach you day and night in your classes. I am sure all of you will agree on this point to me that they shape whole country. Number of times I have been asked this question, what should be my future, what I should do and how I will work in the future. I think we make our future. I think the destiny is done by you. Just like the destiny of India has been done by our predecessors and all by our generation, the next by you, and you decide it. So, let me tell you when I was asked to talk, number of people say you should talk about some of the very famous icons in the field of chemistry, physics, like Mary Curie. She is not only a great physicist getting Nobel Prize, chemist and medical science getting Nobel Prize. Also, she was head of the family which got Nobel Prize. Should I talk about them? I'm sure you would know. There are Lady called Dorothy Hodgkin, one lady who actually revolutionized crystallography. She brought on the concept of crystallography of biological molecules. Along with that, she was one of the peace-finding person in the, all over the world. Professor G. N. Ramachandran, who actually shaped my future, my career, one of the guru and teacher of my own research career. Well, if you have to think of icon, I would think you have very many icon right in Madurai. One of the greatest person or, or the goddess you have is Menakshi. Such a smiling face. I was lucky to visit her last evening. Smiling face, a lady standing with her pet parrot. It's so beautiful that you have something like that with a fantastic architecture, thousand more than thousand years old. You all are so fortunate to see this every day and night. What about M.S. Shuva Lakshmi, a doyen of classical Indian music? I am a great admirer. I had a number of chances to listen to her from very nearby. I actually came to Chennai to listen to her. I'm sure all of you would enjoy all this and more so, and books will tell you all this. But I choose to speak something which is little different from just giving the example of these drawings. Well, when I enter here, I was very much aware that I have a really high challenge and that I have to meet the challenge. But I am sure when you leave this place, you will carry the challenges which I like to impart on you and you will leave this place not just taking these challenges but you will take it because you would love to have it. Let us see how I do this one for you. Now, I will tell you one simple question 
What is significant about the living beings? There are motor cars, there are aeroplanes, and there are we. The power of all these are huge, humongous. Power of small child is very small. Normally we think so. But what really is the significant about it? We all have learnt in biology, it grows. All the living beings grows, not only they grow, they grow self-controlled manner. This is the most interesting part. They grow self-controlled manners, they grow with harmony, with next to themselves, their society, their environment. 